All right, welcome now to the details. Now, parties in the ongoing election petition hearing have filed their addresses for the registrar of the Supreme Court. The petitioners challenging the results of the 2012 general elections were the first to conclude the process, having presented 32 boxes each containing legal documents and CD-ROMs to back their claims that the elections were indeed flawed. The Electoral Commission, the second respondent in the presidential election petition later, filed theirs, being led by the head of audits, Joseph Asamoah, with a 15-page document, 19 copies each in a vehement defense of their claim that the 2012 elections were free and fair. They were then followed by the two other respondents with separate addresses. Now, Joy News is Anil Sabote, who was at the court, joins me uh, in the studio with some more on the process. Good evening to you, Annie, and welcome uh, yeah, uh, to, the, to the news. Now, tell us, you've been following this since it started. What more can you tell us about this uh, court case? We're told that the... I, I understand that not all of them ha have the, filed their, is it their addresses. Precisely. So remember on the 17th uh, of uh, this month, when the courts give the directive that mm. they, are, they, they ought to fight and the deadline was supposed to be today. So today mm. we went to the court with the understanding that the process will be happening. But, um, and also, again, we also understood that uh, both John Mama and the pres and the NDC mm -hmm. will file a single written address. Aye. But it turns out that Mama filed separately. His was done by Kojoga Daudu. So we're waiting for the NDC, NDC to, to do the same. But unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen. The understanding I have, no reason I've been given as, as I speak to you, mm. but an understanding I have is that they're going to do that tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Now, earlier on, what I heard was that the, both the both sides are going to do it at the same time, so that you you do not have uh, an upper hand, sort of. It, it doesn't work like that at all. Well, you know what 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 I saw around, around two thirty, half past two, the. Um, the petitioners came in, and two of their lawyers, uh, mm -hmm. Alex Queno and Kwekwe Sefi, they, they came with their system boxes of uh, the written address mm -hmm. and a soft copy of that, and then they have two attachments that I understand contain the table that they filed. So when they left, around 4, 4.15, mm -hmm. the Kojoganda Udu, who is, speaks for the NDC, mm -hmm. came in. And he came in, and so the impression we got was that it was filing on behalf of both the president and that of the NDC. Mm. But then it was there, he told her that he was filing for the president. And so who gave us this clarification? So it was Kojoga Dawudu. It was very clear and specific mm. that he was filing for the president. He had 20 copies. And the 20 copies, he had the 106 pages of written address. And then 20 copies of the appendix that contains the exhibit that were tendered in court to you know, map up their case. Mm. So it was very clear and specific. So in the course of that, the Electoral Commission also came and they also filed theirs. That is uh, 19 copies. And then we, they have 15 pages of that. Mm -hmm. In all, they're supposed to file 16 pages, 15 copies in all. That will be served for the, the parties across. Mm. Uh, I was in the, I remember I was around when I saw the EC official and that's of Kojigan Dawood himself left the box of the petitioners. So, which means that they have been served, the registrar has served them with copies of what the petitioners have filed. And the same could be done to the other parties, yeah. All right, so we have on the line now uh, Kojoga Dawudu. Well, let's find out quickly from him. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening, and good evening to your viewers. All right, now we know that you filed your uh, written address already, and so you're expecting to do some more on that tomorrow. Uh, how long do you expect this process to take? Uh, if it come, could come again. I'm saying that we understand that you filed your written address today and you'll be doing a lot more on that tomorrow in court. Now, how long do you expect this process to take? Well, oh, um, by law, I think that when we finish the trial, the court has about 15 days to give its ruling or judgment. Mm. And my expectation of the court is that within 15 days, they should do that. Now, with the Supreme Court rules also, the court has power. After filing your address, mm -hmm. the court has power to ask whether you have something to add orally okay. or you want to summarize orally. It's the court that will give that direction. With this case that has come, there have been some novelties. So we will wait tomorrow. When we go, the court will give its directive and we will see what the court would say.
Mm. Whether but you they would right, go ahead. give us opportunity to make an oral summary of what we have found, or the court will say they will go ahead and give us it for. Mm. Per what you have found, would a re, uh, will a verbal uh, uh, another verbal opportunity be necessary? No, maybe the court, after looking at it, would say that can you clear some point, or can you make response to a point being raised by your opponent? So the court would want to ask that so that it can clear some point. Since we filed together, mm. normally one party files first, give it to the other, the other would read and also respond to issues that have been raised in their address. But we have filed together. Mm. And since we filed together, we've not had the opportunity to read what each other has said, position of the law uh, each other has said, mm. what will resonate with reason, what will resonate with the law. Right. So we will wait and see the direction the court will give tomorrow. But let me let me quickly uh, bounce this off uh, Anil Sabote and come back to you. Anil Sabote, now you're telling me that uh, the NDC was was supposed to were expected to uh, file in their written address together with uh, uh, the President John Mahama, but it didn't happen. Now he said, now that he has done that, what are the implications? Well, I, 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 I'm not sure about that, but I think my, if Victor could clarify it for us why the NDC was unable to to you know file because the impression we had was that mm. they're going to do joint uh, right. application with, the, with respect to filing of the written so now we're expecting but, some clarification from you uh, uh, mr yeah. kojuga would you be able to clarify to us um i, I think that um it, it is normal with our practice that when the court gives you time to file and you're not able to file it you can go for extension from the court to tell them the time you want to file all right um it's just that we were very sure we were going to file this evening, but we just don't want to get a jumble of paper and send to the court. We really need to put uh, what exactly we want to put before the court. Mm. And I can say that tomorrow morning, we should be able to do it. It's normal with our practice as lawyers. Okay. Uh, when you have not really uh, be able to meet the deadline, you can just go to the court seek their permission and ask and for an filing. extension yeah so i hope we will do that before the court would sit mm, thank you very much mr kojuga that would there speaking to us now let me quickly wrap up with our new sabote so what else uh let's say tomorrow what what are we supposed to expect for instance at the court well i think uh, from what has happened uh today for example so i mean i expect the petitioners who are going to come up and and, and raise their own reservations about it. Mm. Um, also, tomorrow, remind you that uh, there's a review of the an earlier case that had been filed by um, with respect to the days that the, the, the you remember that Bernard Monan went to the court and yeah. he won the case that the judges cannot sit on holidays and then even on what do you call it on, on weekends exactly. And uh, Abu Ramadan on the PNC is challenging that. So I, I I suspect that tomorrow that case might be called before this particular. The, the judges come to, to sit right. again for directions. Yeah. Right, right. All right, so we'll probably be expecting more, much more days on the 15 days that the law uh, gives, but we, we never know. But thank you very much, Anil Sabote, for thank your you. time. He has been following this case since it started in court. But let's